If you're in the market for a new mechanical keyboard for your desk setup, then this is the video for you. Stay till the end for my final thoughts and review. When it comes to keyboards, there are a lot of factors to consider, but one of the factors you shouldn't ignore is ergonomics, and this is where you might want to consider a split keyboard design. What's a split keyboard you might be asking? A split keyboard is exactly what it sounds like, a keyboard that splits in two. It will lower the strain you put on your wrist when typing and help prevent you from developing any issues or pain from typing for long periods of time by allowing you to work in more natural positions. And here is where the new Split Mechanical Keyboard by Knockfree comes into play. They were kind enough to send me one of five prototypes of their upcoming Knockfree Lite Split Wireless Mechanical Keyboard to showcase and review for you guys. This keyboard launched on Kickstarter this past December and had no trouble surpassing its goal. Full disclosure, they did allow me to keep the prototype for free as a gift, but I was not paid for the video and I am free to say anything I want in my review. Big thanks to Knockfree for sending this keyboard my way. The box I received came with the Split Mechanical Keyboard, Split Walnut Wooden Wrist Rests, a USB receiver, a USB to USB-C charging cable, a mini USB to mini USB cable, and some extra keycaps. This is a 60% compact keyboard, so it won't be taking up a ton of space on your desk setup. The build quality of the split keyboard bodies feel nice and solid. The keys have a classic staggered layout to help reduce the learning curve as you start to split the two halves apart. You have the power switches on the back, which is not where I expected them as most keyboards have them on the top or the sides, but it doesn't seem to cause any issues where you might accidentally turn them off or on thanks to the rubber feet. Keep in mind though, that this is a prototype and does not have all the features of the final product and will look slightly different. For example, it's missing the tenting kits that will give them a 10 degree tilt, giving you even more natural and ergonomic positions. And the material of this prototype is a photosensitive resin, while the final product will most likely be plastic. Moving on to the keys themselves, they are fully hot swappable, meaning you can remove not just the keycaps, but also the switches underneath to your preferred level of feedback and clickiness. I opted to go for some red switches this time around, just to mix things up. But Knockfree offers plenty of other options for you to fully customize your keyboard. I asked for the green matcha colored keys along with some white caps to switch in as well. But they also offer side print backlit keycaps, gray keycaps, and these really cool mud keycaps that are semi-transparent to really let the RGB shine through. This keyboard also works with both Windows and Mac OS. You can easily switch between the two operating system layouts by using a shortcut. Simply press the function key plus O for Mac or function plus P for Windows. The keyboard layout is also fully programmable so you can personalize your workflow without the need of any software. You just customize it through VIA's user-friendly website, mapping any keys to whichever keys you want or desired macro command. The Knockfree Lite also has RGB lighting as an optional upgrade. It comes with 31 different lighting effects that you can choose from. They look very cool and give your desk setup a nice atmosphere where you can fully customize the color, brightness, and transition speed on the VIA website as well. You do, however, need to wire the two halves together with the included USB cables to activate the RGB lighting. They will not work in wireless mode. The reason for this is to prevent the battery from draining faster as the lights draw more power. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because I've got more ideal setup content coming your way. Moving on to price. The Knockfree Lite Split Wireless Mechanical Keyboard comes in at about $210, but you can get a 20 to 25% off discount by backing them early on Indiegogo. You can then customize your optional upgrades as shown on the page. And if you'd like to purchase one, the link is in the description below as well as a link to Knockfree's website. So now it's time for my review and final thoughts. I've been using the Knockfree Lite for almost two months now and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Setup was super easy. All I had to do was plug in the USB receiver into my docking station and my Mac instantly recognized it so I can get the typing right away. While very compact, it did not take as much time as I thought to get used to the key layouts. Plus, I was able to customize it to my liking. There was no lag and the tactile haptics of the keys felt really good. 
Initially, I was a little concerned about using a split keyboard as I've never used one before. But this is where the knock-free light highlights what I like to think of as its greatest feature and selling point for me personally. The fact that you can start with it as a compact 60% keyboard and then slowly start separating the two halves makes the learning curve not be as steep as other split keyboard designs. This allowed me to focus more on finding the most comfortable position when I was typing. Speaking of being comfortable, the optional walnut wrist rests work as expected and enhance the ergonomics of the keyboard, making it feel even better. I could also see myself gaming with this keyboard, especially for first person shooters, where you could just use the left half of it to free up more space for your mouse. Even though the version I have is just a prototype, it was enough to give me a good feel for what the final build will be like. Now, let's go over a few things that I think could be improved and that you might want to be aware of. The first one is Bluetooth, or lack thereof. USB receivers are very small and easy to lose, so having the ability to stay wireless with Bluetooth would have been a great feature to have. I know Bluetooth isn't as stable of a connection, but it's nice to have options. Next, when customizing the keyboard layout on the website, you have separate profiles for both wired and wireless mode. You could be spending a lot of time tweaking your settings in one of those modes and then get tripped up when switching between them, having to redo your settings. This can be resolved by saving and loading a configuration, but it would be nice if there were just one profile. And lastly, having the RGB lighting only work when it is fully wired is kind of a bummer for people that are into that. Not a big deal for me personally, but it would have been great to keep it fully wireless, even at the cost of a little battery life if it's not reduced too much. Overall, I really dig the Knockfree light and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it. Thanks again to Knockfree for letting me check this keyboard out. And if you want to check out some other cool upgrades for your desk setup, check out this video here.